Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. I This is the last chance I have to do readings before I go away for the weekend and then go away on my um, my holidays. So I'm looking forward to getting away for a few days. But I thought I'd just do a quick up update for next week. So this is going to be for the fire sign. So if you're a Leo, Sag or Aries, ooh, some of you are dealing with a war, with an earth sign here and brand new start. Somebody's offering an earth sign a brand new start here. Um, and I will pull some cards at the end um, for each individual sign. So I'll do the reading and then we'll pull some cards at the end. Okay, and fire signs. Ace of Cups coming out of the gate. We're talking about offering someone love here. Um Looks like you've been thinking about this for a while. Look how tired you are. Um, you may have been trying to manifest love in your life, but you're certainly looking a bit weary. Um, this is someone you you either have a very strong connection with or you've been waiting on them. You've been waiting on them to give them love. Very nice. Oh, wow. You've moved away from something else to offer them something. So you're coming to offer someone love. And as I said in the beginning, I got the uh, Ace of Wands flip out with the um, Ace of Cups. So Ace of Wands with, uh, sorry, with the Earth sign, uh, the King of King of Pentacles. Oh, very nice. So I've just done the Water signs and they got the Empress out, I think. Um, the Emperor is here in all his glory. The King of Kings, like he's the culmination of all the most incredible things about kings. He can be an Aries too. Um... But he is very powerful, very knowledgeable, well-educated. Um, he is well-respected. Everybody looks up to him. He can be a member of your community who is well-respected. This can be the male, the male counterpart of the twin flame. Um, he can just be sometimes a little overbearing or a little, little controlling the moon is coming out here so there's something being revealed here about this person okay maybe they haven't been above board with you here oh wow nine of rods coming in too okay page of pentacles somebody's offering something here and somebody thinks they are amazing and there's some secret being held we're here and the universe is saying you need to be really strong with your boundaries here okay eight of pentacles so something has been moved away from whether it's this person or whether you're moving towards them you feel a bit of sadness in this card as well there's a bit of depression here six of pentacles as well so this is definitely about equal give and take and there's no equal give and take here. Again, I have the earth sign. So definitely dealing with an earth sign here, fire sign. Um, strength card here at the end. Um, so what I see here, and it still is a, a little like this sort of feeling of the beginning here. Someone's, it looks like someone's fallen in love with someone. It looks like someone is ready to hand over the big offer with this ace of cups. But I have to say to you, I feel like this isn't going to turn out like it was planned. There's something about this person where either they're not revealing everything to you or they're being very guarded about what information they're giving you here. Um, so if you were about to make an offer, it's very possible this person may not take the offer straight away. Um they may further down the track here because we do have the strength card here, but I feel like this is sort of a little overwhelming for this person and they're not feeling that they want to, they're walking away from it. It's hard for them to walk away from, no doubt about this whatsoever. It's very hard for them to walk away from. But for some unknown reason, they don't trust where this offer's coming from. So don't forget the energy's flip-flop. Could be you, fire sign, or the other person. But what I'm talking about here is one of you wants to make an offer and the other one's not uh, doesn't want to commit at this time because they're not really sure if the offer is genuine or not. There's some sort of walking away from this. Now, the Six of Pentacles here, which talks about the equal give and take and I feel like maybe if you're making an offer of love but you've been seeing each other for a while maybe you haven't been putting in your fair share here 
because somebody is very concerned about this relationship being one-sided and they're not wanting to move forward with it. So that's the general read for you all. So let's just have a look at each of the elements. Um, we'll check out Leo first. There's the star card, Leo. So there's something definitely being divinely guided to you here. Okay, one from the top, one from the middle, and one from the bottom. Interesting, that came out in the beginning. Okay, Leo, either you or this other person is working through something here. They, this offer will bring a lot of happiness with this Ten of Cups, but it's going to take time because one of you has to close out some sort of cycle here. Now, this also could mean that this relationship's over a long distance and it's taking time because you're going backwards and forwards with this relationship and it's taking a lot of travel. And perhaps you're keen to move to this Ten of Cups. Maybe you want to move in with them, get married to them. You want to move to this Ten of Cups energy. But the universe is saying you can't yet because there's something here, the cycle, something has to go through an energy first before you can get to this ten of cups so you have to be patient with them because they're taking time to make up their mind as you saw in the general read so you need to be patient don't be sort of trying to move them in the next day after telling them you're in love with them because it will be a definite no don't move too quick i know leos love the fast energy but slow your roll take your time with this one okay let's have a look at aries next One from the top, one from the middle, and one from the end. Now, the reason your, your reading is happening the way it is, is I feel like one of you wants to work on this and the other one's just too, too stuck in the past energy. So the Six of Pentacles came up in the read, which means both of you want to give and take in this relationship, but the other person doesn't think you're putting as much in as you should. But I'm feeling like they're a bit stuck in the past. So maybe they've had energy with someone else before and they're not trusting you through someone's previous energy. Because the Five of Cups always talks about looking back, Aries. And I feel like this person may be a little stuck in the past at the moment and it may take them time to get to this fool. But the fool is here and that does talk about a brand new star and it does talk about taking a leap of faith. But you're going to have to be patient this person is working through this past energy to get to this energy of wanting to work on something. Okay, Sagittarius. Oh, oh, two of swords. There's a decision for you, Sagittarius. You're a little bit different again. So let's just have a look here. Oh, okay. One from the top. One from the middle and one from the end. Wow, you're really keen to make an offer. Look at that. Six of cups, nine of cups, ace of cups. So this person you're dealing with is someone from your past. Um, you want to make an offer. You've realized you're in love with someone that you've either been with before or there's a past energy here. You know this person and you're really, really keen to get this off the ground. There are cups everywhere here. So you're very, very besotted with this person, very keen to be have this person on side with you. You want to make a love offer, you're going to have to wait. They're very nervous about moving forward on this. So bide your time. The Ace of Cups is here, so I know you want to do it, but you just have to be a little bit patient. They may be doing some childhood healing here as well. So Sagittarius, you need to just slow right down on this one. Um, so you don't don't come on too strong. All right, that's fire signs. Thank you.